Well, I knew classroom sizes were getting larger. I didn't realize I'd have a classroom of 4,000. I'm a history teacher, so I hope you will allow me to share my avid history. Like the architecture wonder of a new design, AVID started with the determination to support many underserved students so they could find success in college. Interestingly, AVID started in California, a state which is a microcosm of the world. California has many successful AVID programs. In the United States, one out of 10 students are educated in California. This is equal to the population of 21 states. You want some historical facts? One high school in California, Ramona High School, in Riverside, up the road, has 16 AVID sections, with nearly 25% of the school enrolled in AVID. Last year, like every year, the AVID team helps raise over $2 million for their AVID students. That's the kind of history we need as a nation. Before I go on with my story, let me take a temperature check. How many of you are the first member of your family to go to college? Would you please stand? Let's give them a hand. As for me, I feel I'm in grade 43 or so because I learned so much from my students, my colleagues, and my AVID community. I would like to share my journey with AVID. It started about 15 years ago and set me on the path I never imagined. It was a humid day, the first day of school after Labor Day, in my fourth period history class. A student introduced herself and shook my hand. My name is Christine, and I'm an AVID student. I'm excited and interested to learn US history. Imagine my surprise. <laughs> that was the first time a student shook my hand and introduced themselves to me the first day of class with such confidence and poise. Oh, and having a student say she was excited about history she had me at hello. <laughs> For a moment, I pondered, what is AVID? Sure, my principal had announced we were going to have a new program on campus, which was AVID. But I thought AVID was a program for troubled teenagers. I didn't have a clue about the moral purpose to help all students succeed beyond high school for college and career readiness, and I didn't have a clue about Christine. That year, I decided to challenge myself and go through the process of national board certification in history social science. The process is a difficult process. I needed to have three students for my case study. I needed a cross-section, and I chose Christine as one of my three students so I could reflect on my lessons and my assessments. The, street, the three students would help me grow and help me make adjustments in my assignments and my lessons. So for four months, once a week, I had lunch with my three students. I needed to build a relationship and understand their world, their life experiences, their challenges. Christine's story and her avid journey changed my perception of student potential. Christine shared Life was always tough financially. Her mother had been in and out of drug rehab. She lived in government assisted apartments. Throughout her life, she moved from her grandmother to her aunt, back to her mother. Christine's story is like many of her avid students. Her stability was her avid family at school. Besides going to high school, Christine worked 15 hours a week to support her mother and her sister. Christine's gift was drama and art, performing lead roles in our drama productions. I learned that AVID gave Christine the poise and confidence to perform with enthusiasm that spilled over not only my classroom, but her other classrooms. 
In a sense, Christine was my avid tutor. During the school year, I also learned so much from Christine. She told me about her organizational binder, Cornell notes, levels her thinking for her questions, her tutorials, her college visits. Christine occasionally would ask me, why can't we work with another student on an essay? She would share, it would be important sometimes if we could collaborate on some assignment. Over the months, I learned Christine's favorite band was Journey. She loved the lyrics, don't stop believing, hold on to the feeling. On the last day of school in her junior year, Christine gave me a hug and said, I'm so lucky to have had you this year. You believed in me, and that helped me believe in myself. I told Christine, I learned so much from you. I was truly touched by Christine. That night, driving home from work with a friend, Christine was hit and killed by a drunk driver. Like the rest of the staff, I was devastated by the loss of Christine, but she left such an important legacy. Christine taught me the importance of a relationship with my students. She taught me that if you believe in someone, they start to believe in themselves. I realized that was what AVID stood for and ignited my passion for helping all students succeed. Over the last 15 years, I've had many opportunities to touch the hearts of students and teachers through AVID. From knowing nothing about AVID, I have become an AVID staff developer and have worked with teachers across the United States. Every time I present, I feel I am paying it forward to Christine. There is another Journey song that just came out that reminds me of Christine. It is called The City of Hope. The lyrics go, never stop believing change will come. There is a city of hope beyond our fears where miracles can happen. I've learned that in life, usually the biggest challenges offer the greatest rewards. I have also learned to listen to the voices of our students. Many of you are here today are new to AVID. Let me encourage you. No, let me demand of you. Listen to the voices of your students. They will help you write your own AVID history. Have a great conference, and I hope this professional experience will add value to your teaching and learning.